This has to be it. You find something, Jude? Whoa! What's that? No mistaking that color. Those are spirit fossils. But... they're so teensy-weensy. Hey! I think I feel a slight breeze. I don't think this is a dead end. You two sit tight. I want to see where it goes. And let you beat me? Ha! Huh. Leia, come on. It's too dangerous. And that's why we should all go together. Yep. What's the point of bringing me along if you're just gonna go all lone wolf? Just watch your step, okay? Don't worry about it.
An earthquake? Wow! You got really strong while you were away! And I see you're as merciless as ever with that staff. <laughs> Care for a little sparring bout? Oh, that's right. Jude mentioned that he had a friend he used to train with. That must have been you. Yep. It started out as part of Leia's physical therapy. That's right! My mom was the instructor, and she trained us good. I see. But I can't respect a bully. Huh? I hear you beat Jude until he was covered in bruises. <laughs> Look, I can explain. What are you telling other people? I can't believe you. Ah! Oh, sorry. Ah, now it all makes sense. If it starts to hurt, just say so, okay? I'm fine. You and Jude say the exact same things. I don't see spirit fossils anywhere. <sighs> Maybe it's time to call it a day? You shouldn't overdo it with your condition. What do you mean my condition? I haven't been sick since I was a kid. That wasn't that long ago. Wow. Welcome back, Jude. Let the nagging begin. What's that supposed to mean? And here I thought that Fenmont had changed you. You should stop worrying so much. Leia, listen to me. This is serious. Denied! I can't hear you! <sighs> hey, you should probably head back. Uh, uh hey. What exactly is a spirit fossil anyway? When a spirit loses its mana, it manifests in this world as a stone. <sighs> in other words, you're saying the spirit dies? I've never really heard of something like that happening, though. Is that like a city thing? Not that I know of. Hmm. So does that mean a whole bunch of spirits died ages ago? Most of the spirits died before I was born. What do you mean? This can wait. We really should get moving. We really should get moving. Nah. Whoa, hey, no need to get all angry on me. Wait, did you just hear something? Hear what? That, a ringing. Where is it coming from? There, it's a spirit fossil. Good ears! Let's check it out! Focus! That's one! Got it! Tempest! Clash! Thanks! Get him! 
Hey, look who's here! Demon fish! Hey! Is this really the only way? All right! These earthquakes. Get him! I got your back. Slow dance. You win. Uh, thanks. Get him! Focus. Right on point. Demon fist. Sweet. Folks, I win. Got it. Tempest it. Crash. All right. I'll help too. Hey, looky here! Focus! Let's do this! Got it! Tempest Clash! This reminds me of our training! I only remember getting beat up by you. Go. This is definitely the right spot. Did it move? Hey, over there. More spirit fossil fragments. The big one must be in there. Yeah, but rocks don't just get up and move by themselves. If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. How's egg principle? Yes, I suppose so. You two stay here. This time I really am going in by myself. Keep an eye on Mila. Hey, hold on! Leia? Look at this place. 
It's surreal. You hear that? All the sounds. They keep getting louder and softer. Watch yourselves. It's so pretty. Watch out! Get back, Leia! Huh? Look out! Jude! What's that? Look at its head, Jude! Is that the spirit fossil? <laughs> Leia, don't get too close! Don't worry, Jude. I'll get that fossil. Watch this! Jeez, why is this thing so darn big? It must be using the spirit fossil as a source of energy. I can't think of any other explanation. Let's just focus on beat. Dang it! Uh.
You're going to pay for that. Get away from them, you beast! Let's end it. Flames, dear! Uh, 
to use the Asperixis. Whoa! Goodness. This is some device you humans have come up with. How bad's the pain? Well, it's not worse than I imagined, but it's considerable. I'm sorry. I should have been more careful. But you retrieved the spirit fossil for me. If anything, I'm in your debt. Thanks. Let's get back to town. I'll get the wheelchair. You look like you want to say something. You can tell me. Jude can't hear you. The thing is, when Jude learned that the Asperixis would cause you incredible agony, I thought for sure he'd call off the procedure, even though it could help you. Jude knows that there is something I must do. Yeah, but still. The old Jude would never do that. Sounds like you know why he is the way he is. Uh, 
Ever since we arrived here, you've been doing your best to avoid giving him opportunities to step in and help. So, you noticed. Jude was always home alone when he was little. His parents do seem preoccupied with work. Yeah. I don't think Jude ever realized it himself, but... I think he was really lonely. I imagine so. But what does that have to do with how Jude is now? I think he's just eager to get involved with other people somehow. I get it. He wants to feel needed. That's why he's so helpful. Exactly. He would never do anything that might push people away. But the Jude who came back with you isn't quite the same Jude who left. I figured that out from watching you. You're the one who changed him. I haven't done anything. Jude made his own choices. <sighs> Sorry. I think I'm at my limit. Mila! Don't worry. She just passed out. I don't mind pushing the wheelchair on the way back. Uh, okay. Why the sudden burst of compassion? Why? Is there anything wrong with it? Well, no. Just unexpected, I guess. What can I say? I'm feeling really inspired by your friend here. Thank 
Okay? Is anything broken? You went to the mine, didn't you? Uh, why didn't you tell us? I'm sorry, Mom. Jude! Honey, don't! What if something had happened to the girls? Did you think it all before charging off? I did whatever I could do to help. I tried, unlike you, Dad. Why, you little... <laughs> Please don't be so hard on him. He did well accomplishing his task. You're on your feet. Thanks to these two. <sighs> Try not to overdo it now. Hurry up and get back into the chair. Right. Darling. Hmm. Leia, take her to the clinic at once. Yes, Doctor. 
Well, you know what, Mila? You're gonna need some serious physical therapy. Right. Sorry to be a burden, Leia. Hey, no worries. That's my job. Jude, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Seasonal winds are kicking in. Time sure flies. But I still can't believe Mila's being discharged today. I bet the doc was floored by her rapid recovery. Heck if I know. Dad and I barely talk. Mila will be along as soon as she's ready. Care to explain this? What's that? A wanted poster? From honor student to fugitive, huh? It's not like it affects you. What did you do? The poster makes it sound like you stole something. Stole? That thing Mila gave to Ivor. Was that it? Speak properly, young man. Uh, forget it. So now what? You gonna yell at Mila for corrupting me? You haven't exactly been nice to her. Jude, Jude. You're so naive. You still don't know what she is. She's finally out. Mila! Mila! I'm fine. Ah, I've missed the fresh air. How about taking a little walk? Good idea. Let's stroll to the Sea Haven. We'll take it slow. She never stops moving forward under her own power, no matter what happens. Do you know why, Jude? What's this? No. Why now, after all this time? That wanted poster. It has something to do with Fenmont, right? That's where you met Mila. She's 
trying to destroy a secret Rashigal military weapon. It uses something called a Spyrex. She swears it's her mission to save the world from those things. A Spyrex. Huh? Dude, buddy, super pal, slap me some face! Ah! What in my world? Elise, what are you doing here? Well, we came to see you. We wanted to congratulate you on your recovery. But we never expected a miracle. Nice to see you on your feet. It's all thanks to Jude and Leia. Rowan! It has been a while, Jude. And a pleasure to meet you, young lady. My name is Rowan. Oh, uh... Hello. So this is the device responsible for your miraculous recovery. An Asperixis, you call it? Fascinating. Will you be sticking around for a while? Lady Dressel insisted that I take a vacation, and Miss Elise was most persistent in her desire to see Mila. Don't blame us, butler! You're the one who's been getting sloppy on the job lately! That's not like you. It's true. This old butler has been quite distracted as of late. Indeed, one concern in particular is at the forefront of my mind. I see. I wish we had more time to listen to the whole story, but... Mila and I are planning to leave Laurent as soon as possible. Probably tomorrow. I don't remember saying that. I know you well enough by now. <sighs> but you are still recovering. What could be so important in Fenmont that you must leave at once? A weapon they call the Lance of Kresnik. As long as it endures, mankind and spirit kind are doomed to extinction. Who built it? The King of Rashigal? You cannot reach Fenmont without once again heading for Fort Gondala. Things ended badly for you the last time you visited that place, if you'll recall. Are you not afraid? No. I fear nothing in this world. Except that one day, I may lose the willpower to complete my mission. Why is this mission so gosh darn important to you? Because I am Maxwell. It is my duty to protect this world. Maxwell, you say? The spirit? Mila's a spirit? Is it true? What? But that doesn't matter, does it? It's not gonna change who we know her as. Come on, everyone. No use standing around talking. Let's go back inside. Sounds like a plan.
It's been a while. Could have been longer. You got my message, right, Doc? She won't wake up, will she? Don't worry. She's worn out from weeks of physical therapy. Therapy, huh? Did you get her to spill the key's location? That's not my job. I'm finished with Exodus. Ouch, that hurts right here, you know. I owe this woman a great debt. Why? Because she turned that pipsqueak son of yours into a man? Watch your mouth! Just tell me what you know and I'll be out of your hair. I'm just the messenger. Ivor. It's possible she gave the key to someone named Ivor. That's all I know. Now, never bother me again. See? That wasn't so hard. Did I really do the right thing? Are you all set? Yeah, believe it or not. To be honest, I'm still in shock that you're leaving. You could have given us a little more warning. Sorry. It's your decision, honey. What about Dad? Still fuming. I see. Well, I'm eager to get going. Shall we be off? Huh? We've still got some time until the boat departs. True, but Elise and Rowan came all the way here to wish me well. It would be rude not to bid them goodbye before leaving. 
Yeah, I suppose you're right. is making me feel unpleasant. Sorry about that. Are you certain this is a good idea? Yes. I have a responsibility to my mission. To the world. And you wish to remain true to that burden? You are such a strong, proud woman. Seeing your determination, it reopens some old wounds. What do you mean? Lord Klein tasked me with saving this country. His dying words have weighed heavily on my mind lately. Am I even capable of such a task? Can I put a stop to Noctagall's schemes? Back at Fort Gondala, it seemed like he knew you. He is a friend of mine. One of my oldest. So that's the source of your concern? whether you can fight against a friend or not. No way! If he was a real friend, you wouldn't fight him! Fretting over it won't strengthen your resolve. Only willpower can do that. For now, will you come with us? I'm sorry? You could still grapple with these issues if you like, but a human life is short. Time is of the essence. You might as well keep moving forward while you worry. Hesitation is a common human failing, after all. Why not come along, Rowan? I'd feel safer with you around anyway. <laughs> Your words ring true. Caving to worry and doubt would only waste my time. And this old man is not growing any younger. Does that mean... Yes. Please allow me to accompany you. I'll come too. Sorry, Elise. You should head back home to Drissel. Miss Elise, I need you to give the young mistress a message. Tell her that I have headed to Fenmont. But... Hmm? I will ask an acquaintance of mine in Sapstrath Seahaven to escort Elise home. But Elise is heading back to Sherilton, right? Won't we be heading in the same direction? I have an idea. Would you allow me to handle this matter? Sure. Let's stick together until we have to board the ship. Okay. And here I thought we were super pals, Jude. Guess not.
Well, hello there. Good day, Master Sonia. Is Leia around? No, I haven't seen her all day. She hasn't even done her chores. She'll be home before dinner? She won't want to miss my cooking. I see. It's unfortunate that we missed her. Yeah. Master Sonia, Mila and I are leaving on another journey. Please tell Leia goodbye for us. Is that right? Well, don't worry. I'll tell her. You go on and have a safe trip. Thank you. She's gonna get so depressed again with you gone. And then you'll see her getting depressed and get even more depressed yourself. Well, come on. Don't you feel sorry for her? I feel sorry for the poor woman who's stuck with a bunch of weaklings for a husband and daughter. And that would be me. I see your tongue is still as sharp as your fist is strong. Isn't that what you love about me? And yet I can't help but hope that Leia grows up to take after me. I wonder why. What did you just say? Interesting. This must be what they call a domestic spat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is how they express their love for each other. Not so different from your own family, huh, Jude? Don't forget to write them sometimes, okay? And send a letter to Leia while you're at it. Uh, sure. Thank you. 
Leia go? I really wanted to talk to her. Where's Leia? I wanted to thank her. This ship is bound for Ajul. Is this part of the plan you mentioned? It is. If you hatch this plan, then we know it will work. You're not going to make amends with your father? What's the point, Mom? We're minutes from leaving. Your father is just worried about you, honey. Please understand that. I hate to impose, but would you look after this young lady for a few days? Someone from Sapstrath Seahaven will be coming to pick her up. Can you watch her until then? Oh, she's adorable. Yes, of course. I'll take good care of her. This kind of abandonment could really stunt our emotional growth and stuff and things! Jude! Dad, I've made up my mind. I'm going with Mila. You're not going anywhere with that woman. The things she's gotten you involved with... Looky here. I just can't get rid of you people, can I? Alvin? My new job didn't really pan out. You know, I still haven't worked off all the money I got last time, so I guess you're stuck with me. You're coming with us? You you know this man? Yeah, we're old traveling buddies. Elvin, can you believe these meanies are abandoning us? You poor little spud. You can fight just as well as they can. Come on, let's bring the kid and her toy along. It'll be just like old times. But Alvin... Don't worry, I'll protect her if things get dicey. Come on, Rowan. You're stuck with us, Butler! <laughs> Last call for boarding! The ship will be departing momentarily! If we can't pry people off, I guess they have to come. Well then, what are you waiting for? Hurry aboard! Yay! It seems I am no match for you. And now you two. What? Yeah. I better get aboard. Jude! Dad. Don't you have something to say to your parents? Goodbye. Remember, taking responsibility for your actions is part of becoming an adult. Don't worry. You are doing the right thing. Take care of my son. This tub's bound for Lakutum Sea Haven? I thought you were heading for Fenmont. You're asking this now? 
You really do go with the flow, huh? Like, literally. I couldn't care less where we wind up. I'm only here to look after Miss Elise. And me, me, me! The man's back together! You're not exactly part of the bargain. <laughs> Rowan, please tell us your plan for taking us to Aju. Very well. I believe trying to force our way through Fort Gondala now would be a suicide mission, to put it bluntly. I saw the fortress's security columns being activated as we were escaping, right after Mila was injured. And those are... They're weapons made by humans using Earth spirits. It would take an entire division of soldiers to defeat those automata, and only if they had a clever strategy. But the Sea Roots to Fenmon are still closed. So if we're heading to Ajul... You mean to cross from Ajul to Fenmont over land? <laughs> That's quite a hike. What do we do about Fezabel Marsh? Oh yeah, that's true. That swamp apparently stretches forever north of Fenmont. It's supposed to be the natural equivalent of Fort Gondala in terms of fortification. Isn't that marsh impossible to cross? Something about the spirit climb being too severe? Most of the time. But the interseasonal winds have blown, which means that Solemn is upon us. That means the spirit climb has shifted from Ephrita to Renom. Fezabel Marsh should be possible. For now, anyway. If you say so. I'm not sure I understand either. Uh, in other words... We're good to go if we hustle through the marshes, right? Exactly. In any case, hustling is the order of the day. It seems we have little time left. Why? What's gonna happen? I have received word that even after you left Sheraton, the Golems and Fort Gondala remain activated. This does not bode well for us. It's a clear sign that Rashagal is readying for open war. With who? With Ajul? Why would they want to do that? I must destroy the Lance of Kresnik before it can be used in battle. <laughs> oh! What's wrong? There's a person in there! Huh? Friend of yours? <laughs> yeah, a real barrel of fun. Uh, uh, I got so bored waiting in there, I must have fallen asleep. Then you'll be well rested for the return trip home. Return trip? I'm coming with you. This isn't a game. I know, right? Who are you? This is Alvin, our little buddy. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Leia. Pleasure to meet you too, little buddy. Little buddy? It's okay, right, Mila? I can come along? Hmm. Perhaps. Why do you want to? Wait, seriously? Your strength really inspired me back at the mine. I thought to myself, I want to be just like you. Hmm. Well? Is that it? I thought you might say that. Hold on. What is that? I filled this scrap of paper with all kinds of reasons. Take a look. Reasons why you should come with us? Yep, at least a hundred. <laughs> very well. You can come with us. I like you. You're so very... human.
You gotta be kidding. Okay, now that it's all official. I'm happy to join. Thanks for asking. Where did you learn to channel spirits? Where? I don't remember. She's just really talented. Well, that's why I asked. I've never seen a kid with anywhere near your master's level of skill. Really? I was channeling the four when I was much younger. You're a special case. Although it does sound like Elise here can channel spirits based on intuition alone, just like Mila. You're really something. You betcha! Jude knows what's what! Remember that you're still a child, though. In combat, you must prioritize self-protection. Okay. Mila's just worried about you. She's right. You be careful out there. Yes, perhaps that's what I should have said. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Leia, you can't just sneak onto a ship. That's against the law. Oh, really, Mr. Rashigal's most wanted? She does have you there. Oh, don't worry. I gave the sailors free coupons to my family's lodge in exchange for my passage. By the way, how were you able to figure out that we were headed to Lakutum Sea Haven? <laughs> Funny story. I got on a ship that I assumed was going to Sapstrath, but it turned out to be Lakutum bound. Wait, so you got on the wrong ship and found us purely by chance? Dumb luck is truly a frightful thing. Hey, are we close to Niakara? Are we? Don't you want to drop by? Why? I have no business there. Is there some reason you want to go? No, of course not. I just figured the villagers might be worried. They worship you, remember? I appreciate your concern for the villagers' well-being. But we have no time for detours. If we follow the Lakutum High Road north, 
We shall reach a city known as Shandu. We should head there first. Hold your horses. What about that monster that prowls the high road? What's it called, the Lord of Lakutum? My, you are well informed. Rest assured, the Lord of Lakutum is a slave to spirit climbs just like any other monster. Now that we have shifted into Renome, the beast would be positively timid. I doubt it will venture anywhere near the high road. See, little buddy? No reason to be scared. But don't expect me to pluck you from the monster's jaws, bud. Right then. Let's hit the high road. I'm always surprised at how you're able to channel spirits without having to perform an incantation. Is it that surprising? No normal human could do that. When channeling a spirit, the incantation is supposed to serve as the contract between the parties. How do you channel spirits without a contract? I don't do anything particularly special. When I offer mana to the spirits, I just infuse it with my desires. Get your act together and use your art, and no backtalk. Something like that. That's not a contract. That's a threat! It's not good to coddle people, be they spirit or human. Wouldn't you agree? I yes ma'am! Whatever you say! Quite a surprising answer indeed. With Mila, when isn't it? All right! Another wall scaled! You left Laronde without even telling your parents, right? Shouldn't you go back home to see them? Your mom's probably still fuming. Y yeah. 